happy holidays and welcome to this month's edition of the Villages V-Mail. Holidays are in full swing across the Villages. They sure are. You know, each of us hold fond memories from holidays past, but I'm confident that we also bring on traditions even today. Let's hear from some of our residents, as well as members of the Villages family, on how they like to celebrate the holiday season. What was great about my childhood, I lived in a neighborhood where we kind of knew everybody on the block. And the, the best thing was that the lady, there was a, a, a store on the corner. It was kind of like a soda shop, candy, whatever. And they were Jewish. So the good thing was they were always open on Christmas. So whatever we got for Christmas, it was Sylvia and Herman Glick, I think. We could always go down and show Sylvia and Herman what we got for Christmas. I was an only child growing up, so Christmas Day, all my friends who had big families would have Christmas going on all day long, and ours was over very quickly, so my mom and I would always go to the movies on Christmas Day, so I loved going to the movies. Since there was three girls, like me, my sister, the Irish twins, my younger sister, Diana, we always would get dolls. So Diana would get the smaller dolls because she was like two and a half years younger. But me and Kathy would always get the same doll. So it would be Chatty Kathy, Tressy, Thumbelina. Kathy would always get up first, beat me to it, and she'd always get the doll with the blonde hair. <laughs> and I would always get the doll with the brown hair. But, you know, there was many presents under the tree. So it was nice, you know? My earliest memory of Christmas was my mother and I were in a Kresge store in Paducah, Kentucky, and we bought this little plastic Santa that was a sleigh with reindeers connected to it. And I remember the package it was in, I remember everything about it, and I still have it today. And I put it out every Christmas. We always got up and Santa Claus always came early on Christmas, and Courtney and Chad was always in our bedroom, like, Mom, Dad, get up, get up. We're like, no. Christmas hasn't started yet. You have to go back to bed for two hours. And we did that, I can't tell you how many times. Oh yeah, I had to get up and get ready and get my makeup on. So we would have to take pictures with, you know, bed head. Food cooking in the kitchen and me and my five brothers and sisters, you know, just being there, looking, anticipating what we're gonna get. Um, seeing my middle brother disappointed because he never got enough. <laughs> and that was, the, that was one of my fondest memories. Just cracked me up. He was always complaining. And Christmas is just always about being with family. And that's what's, I mean, we're all very close-knit as it is. But when you get to be around a whole household of people, it's fantastic. We always have lots of food. We start the day with cinnamon rolls. My grandma always makes um, candy cane cookies. So just being around family all the time. Mom used to buy us all pajamas, and we'd open them the night before. Uh, on Christ well, Christmas Eve, we'd open them. And just so, I really think it was for the next day, whenever we had Christmas, we would look cute in our pajamas. Of course, my dad and my mother and decorating the tree. And in those days, we had the bubbly liquid oh, things. I remember oh, those. You remember yeah. those? Yeah. And I love, I love that. But just. Probably nothing very special, but just the time. Oh, that was special. Yeah. Well, for us, it was just my dad and my brothers and I. My mom passed away when we were young, but we would decorate the tree. We had a real tree, so we decorated just the week before because my dad didn't want this dead tree in our house for that long. <laughs> but we decorated the week before and all this anticipation, no presents under the tree. Nothing, no but we always went to midnight mass. So little did we know he had this thing with the neighbors. All the presents were over there. <laughs> but we would go to midnight mass, and of course oh, then Santa would come while we were gone. Our pajama rides, we all get pajamas, not matching pajamas, but any Christmas pajamas. And we pile into one car, and we always have a festive drink, normally like a milkshake, a peppermint milkshake and we just ride around and we look at all the Christmas lights and sing Christmas carols. Probably most uh, memorable Christmas uh, vacation time because uh, it's very rare that we actually go and spend Christmas away from family but we did back in 1989. Jill was just a wee tyke then <laughs> and uh, her brother the same because Disney at the time had the big red boat and we went on the cruise ship and then we came back and spent three days at Disney World and that was fantastic, though. We had a great time, 
Um, I think we all just enjoyed it. We had a fireplace in our RV. It was an electric fireplace. So I always decorated the fireplace. We had stockings, we had the tree, we had the whole set of decorations. But I think probably our most memorable Christmas traveling was when we were in Sedona, Arizona. We spent three months in Sedona two years ago. And we got up Christmas morning and it had snowed. And there is nothing like seeing that white snow on that red rock. I think uh, every year gets different and unique as uh, they, they grow up. Um, but we never lose sight of the, the true meaning of Christmas. And that is family and friends uh, decorating the tree, um, Everyone has to put an ornament on the tree, which is really, really cool. Um, and uh, reading the gospel, we read the gospel according to Luke, which is uh, pretty powerful. And then we, we head to church. I always just like decorating the tree, so that, that's kind of my thing. I'm a Santa geek, I guess. I love Santa Clauses, so. Want to decorate our tree? We'll decorate your tree, yes. <laughs> yes, we will, right after this video. <laughs> What I do know is we have some really good people we've met. We have some good friends that are here. So it might look like a new type of Christmas that's going to evolve. We are family. Yep. Yeah. These We're are my sisters. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right? Sisters These are my from sisters. another mother. Sisters, sisters yeah. from another mother. <laughs> right. Right. And to see all the ways that you can get involved this holiday season, make sure to check out our community calendar on thevillages.com and on the Villages app. And the spirit of the season doesn't end there. Nightly entertainment is in full swing and decorations are aglow. Head out with your family and friends and enjoy the sparkling lights of the season every night of the week on any of our three town squares. This season of giving and all year long, there are plenty of opportunities to contribute. Thanks to our ever-growing network of dedicated volunteers. Swing by any of the Toys for Tot donation sites throughout the villages and drop off a new unwrapped toy for a child. Here at the Lake Myona Recreation Center, Operation Shoebox is collecting supplies and preparing care packages for active duty military, filling Christmas stockings with a bit of love and cheer from home. And while you're visiting the recreation centers, you'll notice a number of other community collection opportunities. There's always something new and unexpected happening across our hometown. From our village's family to yours. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. everyone.